<laughs> hey, welcome back to TMX Brick Notes. My name is Martin. Thank you very much for stopping by today. I'm really excited to show off my post office. This is a mock that I created out of Lego for my Lego city. And what I'm real, mo most excited about is the interior. Now the exterior, pretty simple, but the interior is very functional and I like the way that everything works and the little Lego characters can move around and do stuff. Now, um, this is the very first building that I created for my LEGO city, and there's no particular reason why, except for the fact that I know that every city, every town has a post office, and I thought this would be something that would be pretty simple to create. It wouldn't take me too much time or effort. So, I got it knocked out, I got a building up, and now I'm continuing on with the city. So go to my channel and check out more city updates, more buildings, more mocks, and all that good stuff. In the meantime, Let's go take a look at this post office. Welcome to my Lego post office. You can see this is the front section here connected to the street and it's got two mail drops right next to the front door. Let's take a little closer look on the outside. Now the one thing that's maybe unusual to you right now here is all these orange uh, tiles and everything over here. These are where two other buildings are going to end up. I'm not gonna show you those yet. You'll have to check out the upcoming city update to see what those are. City update number two and everything else will have those. I'm missing a fire hydrant and a tile, but nonetheless, I'm just tying this into one of my brick built streets so that you can see how that works. Let me show you how I connect the road to the post office building simple by just throwing in some tile and it ties the two sections together. Looking at the back of the post office, not very impressive right now. One of the things on the side is like, what's going on there? Well, it doesn't matter. There's going to be a building there and it will be covered up. And on the back, we just have a basic door and some windows that don't open. Uh, very normal, plated, black roof. Uh, what's going on here? Well, again, that's going to be covered up. We're going to have um, a raised section of parking that's going to go back here. It's not a roadway, but there will be an alley, and then the mail trucks will be able to park in the back. Let's take a look on the inside. There is a slight change to the post office design since city update number one. First of all, I got the blue containers here that make these pop out and look even better. Added this blue sign and kept the blue bar across the top. I like how it lines out right there. Added a little handle for the door. One of the things I still absolutely love about this is the way it pops off. It takes off this entire roof section, but it also takes off this front panel. And there are two jumpers here that are holding that together. And as we go inside and take a closer look, you can see this white counter has been added. It's all brick underneath, but it's just the counter that if you go into the post office and you need to write your letter or you need to get something out of your P.O. box, you've got something to work off of. And again, we have the P.O. boxes. That's my favorite feature out of this. I bought all nine of these doors from Happy Blues Place on BrickLink. Thank you. And most of the other pieces for this are from BrickLink. Sorry, I cannot remember where I got them all. Most of the white brick is actually from the pick-a-brick wall. We look at the front counter here, and this black section right there, that's a two by two plate and a two by two tile. That's the scale. So a little blue sign in the back that's gonna tell you the prices to mail everything. And then of course, yeah, it's a castle guy working today. It's a, I don't have a medieval city, but I just had a few old school castle dudes that I threw into this mock. Looking from the other direction now, you can see these two uh, slope pieces are little um, calculators. And you can see I also do have the front tiled off. So I'm very happy with how that looks. Okay, now that we've had a look at the front section, it's time to go through this middle door to the area that's employees only. And one of the things you'll notice is that we're changing from tile to what I call carpet. It is the plates 
and it's a plush crossover which means you would not be able to open the door the other way. So one of the big highlights about this is that I made this wall so it could pop out and you could see the back and I am so excited with the back. We're going to start over here with this sorting area. Again we've got a good old classic castle guy hanging out. But we've got this sorting section for all the mail. It's two levels high. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Again, if you're gonna be bouncing this post office and carrying it around, all of these pieces of mail are gonna fall out. But what I really like is how thin these levels are. You can see the light bluish gray. I used a, a mixture of tiles and the panels and they're kind of, well, let's see, just tighten that up. But they're kind of held, they're held up underneath by these plates that are actually connected through the walls. Now, as we go to the other side, we'll move this fella out of the way. We've got this basket, and one of the things that I remember at some post offices is they'll have this big basket that a lot of times they'll put in the front area. You can drop boxes, or if you bring in a whole bunch of things to mail, you can have it in this basket. So they've moved this basket to the back and they're going to be sorting this mail. They're going to be putting some of this mail into the P.O. boxes um, or do whatever they got to do with it. I don't know. But I put it on some wheels. But I got to fix that. That's a work in progress right there. We have another classic castle dude hanging out back there doing his work. I built in some shelves so that you could have big boxes on the side right here, They're just a two by two brick with a two by two tile on the top. And then again, you can load up all of these peel boxes from the back here. So if I had not built this wall so it would pop out, it would be a lot more difficult to play or just rearrange anything or even take pictures of this. So that was a key feature. Whoops. That makes it a lot more easy it made it a lot more easy to build this section right here. So as I put the roof back on, you can see all I have to do, the only thing I have to tie it into are these two blue jumpers on the front. Everything else, there's no connections. It has to line up in the right places, and I'll show you that from the back side. What I mean by that is that I put these two by, I put these plates underneath the black plates to tie everything together and they go right up to the edge of the walls so that the whole roof itself cannot slide from side to side. And this final section, you can put it on either after the roof like this or you can put it on before. It only ties into those two white jumpers. Again, it's not easy to do like that, so you gotta raise the roof a little bit. And it won't get pushed through because it butts up against the sorting area. And it's gonna hit the plates that are connecting the roof together. So once that roof is on tight, you can't push this wall through. You gotta go through the door. Thank you very much for taking a look at my LEGO City post office today. Again, check out my city updates and you'll see the post office. It was the first building in my city and I'm gonna have many more. In fact, my next city update shows two more new buildings and you can take a look at videos of how I created my brick-built roads. Again, just check me out on TMX Brick Notes. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for stopping by, subscribing, commenting, liking, and everything else you do. I hope you have a wonderful day and a great week. See you next time. Bonsai, why are you so sad? Oh, my legs are too short. Look at them. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, not, not everybody has long legs, but you are shaped like a ball, so you can roll really fast. <laughs>